three, two, one. What's up everyone? Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, April 4th, 2018. I hope you're having a good day. You might notice I look a little bit different today. I'm standing up, trying to make moves. I'm trying to put some pep in my step. So I thought it'd be a good idea to stop sitting all day, start working while standing. So that's what I'm doing. That's probably more information than you needed to know, but let's jump into Litecoin. I thought a nice midday update for all of you would be nice. Beans were down 12%. We were up like 12% yesterday, now we're down. We're on the roller coaster ride of crypto, and I know it drives some of you insane. So I thought a, a nice midday update on Litecoin might be nice. I tweeted earlier, I said, will we see a triple bottom? One thing's for sure, Litecoin has us on the edge of our seats. I posted the picture of the chart, four hour chart, and you can see it, possible four, possible triple bottom. Somebody replied and they, they asked me, what are the consequences of a triple bottom? Is that good or bad? And I, I tweeted to that and I said, a confirmed triple bottom would be bullish. From a trading perspective, most would enter a buy if resistance at $137 is broken. A third touch to the double bottom around 109 is risky business though, as that support gets weaker every time. So wanted to go over those tweets for context to this video, but let's look at what we're talking about here. We can check the daily real quick. You can see just the triangle is 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 still there, but we're we're getting very close to breaking that bottom support, and it might be tested today. I don't know, but let's look at the four hour to really help tell this story. So right now we have a possible triple bottom. We have the double bottom at 109, and we 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 can reference this previous double bottom here, and same type of thing. In that previous double bottom, we were really looking to break like this, you know, right around the 150 area of resistance. And you can even call it 170. That just that channel right there, we needed to break and bounce off of. You can see we, we saw resistance there, brought us back down for that, that double bottom. Little bit of resistance again, started coming back down. Almost a, could have been a triple bottom, but we, we went back up and we broke that resistance finally. Same type of situation here. We have a double bottom right at 109 and you can just see we're heading back down right now. And the question is, are we gonna pull one of these previous things where that third, that third downtrend actually reverses and we finally break this resistance? And this resistance at 137 area is what I was referencing on the tweet. So will we not form a triple bottom so much to say as revisiting 109 but will we finally turn back up and break that resistance? I don't know, but time will tell. And we're in, we're, it'll probably, it'll probably tell us within this next day what's going to happen. But to really put a picture on all of this, what we can do is we can go to the daily. Let's go to the daily chart and look at a couple things. We can look at the RSI, which I'm trying to open. And here we are. We're, we're in and below that 40. And what's a little concerning is this 40 that we've talked about for a good amount of time now, uh, even probably back here, we started really keeping an eye on it back in the end of January when we started kind of breaking below, below it a little bit here and there. Um, we started talking about how typically in the bear market, you'll see Litecoin and other cryptocurrencies trading below the 40 as opposed to above the 40 in a nice strong way like it was there. And you really can see we're, we're kind of creeping below the 40 on the RSI a little too much. And even now we're actually seeing a little resistance at the 40, which isn't a very, isn't a very good sign, but it's not, it's not like the end of the world, but it's something we need to keep an eye on continually. So, Along with the RSI, what helps us kind of paint the picture of what's happening, or at least keep an eye on what's happening, would be the MACD. So let me open the MACD up on the daily, and you can see two things. You can see the, the, the double bottom that we've had here, and then we had this, this little downtrend for that third time in that previous double bottom in February, and you you remember I was just saying how we actually reversed away from that and then we finally broke resistance. And you can see that happen right here on the MACD. At the same time, you see the MACD line cross the signal line for that buy 
um, that buy alert or that buy indicator. Now we're in the same type of situation right now. We're just not at the, we're not at the 100 support, we're at the 109 support. So it's a higher low, which is good. And you can see that really illustrated nicely on the, on the MACD. So here's our current double bottom that we've had. And right now where we are is we're, we're wondering, are we going to have a similar third type of downtrend that reverses quickly back up and at the same time, possibly having the MACD cross the signal, or are we going to really test that 109 support right here for a triple bottom with a bounce? hopefully a bullish bounce off of that triple bottom back up. Same thing, MACD crossing the, the, the signal line. Or third, are we gonna have a scenario where we break, we will break support and we, you know, we trade under 109 and we start really testing 100, which is that previous low. That's the worst case scenario. Now, I mentioned that it's risky business even retesting 109 because 109 gets weaker every time we test it. Support gets weaker every time we test it. And even just looking at something like the order books on GDAX, you can see there's less support from the first time, got weaker the second time, and now this third time, it's even weaker. So really, I'd rather not test 109. I'd rather pull one of these that we pulled back in February for that third time and then we broke resistance but really there's no telling what will happen all that we can do is track it and be ready for different possibilities so for me there's obviously no question with my with my style of investing what i'm doing uh i i always talk about buying the dips so i am keenly aware of the fact that if we retest 109 it's time to kind of get ready and look for a pretty big dip, I would think. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I just feel like if we break 109 and retest 100, I think there might be a lot more panicking than these previous this previous double bottom. People panic more and more as we, we test these bottoms. So me personally, someone who buys a dip, I'm gonna just be aware and ready, anticipating a, a situation like that. On the flip side, I'll be ready and very happy to enjoy the ride up if we if we kind of reverse back up and even break that resistance at 137 that would be awesome but those are kind of the two the two rides that we can maybe get on in this crazy cryptocurrency amusement park this roller coaster ride um that's really what i'm just watching today what are you watching today what are you doing let me know i'm curious in the comments below are you hanging in there with everything going on right now um, things are crazy, but exciting because what's, what's amazing about all of this, the price being down is how strong Litecoin is the community, Litecoin fam, the tech, all things going on. It's crazy. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're not a subscriber, would love to have you as a subscriber. Um, always trying to keep thing, things interesting over here. And as always, I will see you on the next video and God bless.